Hi guys, it's Sherry. I'm just stopping in to say hi, and I hope you're having a great week, and I really, really hope you'll enjoy this video. I know that I enjoy having all of you watching, and I enjoy making them, and I really enjoy the jewelry, so thanks so much. Let's go see what we got. Hi everyone, it's Sherry with Blessed Baubles, and I really hope you had a great Christmas. I'm so glad that you're here. I'm so glad to be doing another video. I had a really nice little bit of time off. It was really kind of strange to not be hustling and working every minute. Uh, I missed you all, I really did. So I'm glad to be back. We're working on our 45 pounds of shopgoodwill.com jewelry. The last video we did, an untangling. And wow, a lot of you watched that video. I usually get a lot of ASMR people, which I'm very proud to get, that watch the untangling videos. And some of you subscribers watch it too, but wow, this time a lot of people watched it. So that was really fun. And now I'm coming back to price some of those pieces. So if you see something you like, here's how to purchase. You would email me at capecodebaygirl at gmail.com. And you have to send me these four pieces of information, okay? I need the video name and the episode number. I need the timestamps of when your pieces show on the screen, and you can get that by pressing the pause button. I need a brief description of the jewelry that you like. And sometimes if you use this description that I use, it's, it helps to jog my memory. But I'll look it up by the timestamp. And also, if I gave a price, let me have that too, okay? So thanks so much. I appreciate it very much when you do this. I get to locate your pieces really quickly and get right back to you. And then you won't miss a spot in line because that's my next thing to talk about is that I do answer my emails in the order that I receive them. With the, re with the exception of a couple of people that have been with me from the beginning and buy a lot of jewelry, Sometimes I will go to their email, but that's something that they've really earned and deserve. But in general, I look at my emails and the order that they come in. So if you like something, get your email to me as quickly as you can, and I will answer you. And that may be another reason you may want to subscribe and click that bell so that you'll be notified the next time I post a video, and you'll be right there to watch and you'll be able to send an email right away if you like something, okay? So thank you for that, appreciate it. Okay, so I'm ready with several of the pairs of earrings that have come off of our earring board. Um, not sure if I need to get the earring board out because there's still some things on it, but it's always fun to show you what it looks like for those of you that are new. I keep the earrings as we find them on a little piece of styrofoam and we add the mate when we find them. So I've got some of those already worked out and priced. So we'll get to the earrings first. And there were a lot of earrings in this box. I'm very happy most of the pairs have been found. So let's just start with this pair. This is a lovely chandelier style pair of heavy quality earrings. They are black glass cabochon with the cute rope design around the outside. And they are on wire hooks. So let's see if you need to know how long these are. They're about, they're over two inches long and they're very lovely quality. That will go with a lot of black jewelry and gold. So there you go with those. And I'll say $7 on that pair. I'm going to try to put them right in the bag over here so that I know what I'm doing. Oh, some of you like to know about my rings. I just got this today. So I've been looking for a Larimar ring to go with my bracelet. If I'm going to be honest, I buy these to resell them and then I fall in love with them. So I'm wearing it for a little bit. But anyway, look at the ring I found that matches exactly. It's a Larimar ring. And from what I've learned, the Larimar stone is only found in like the Caribbean or those parts of the world. 
If I'm wrong, correct me, but that's what I have learned so far. I'm trying to get some good lighting here. Now, last time I bought one, I was disappointed that it was not sterling silver, but this one is. This one really is sterling. I was very happy to find it. The listing said that the woman bought it in, I think, the 70s, and she's had it all along. So I thought that was a pretty good bet. And also, she sent me a really cute note. I'm going to go get that note to show you. So here's how the ring came in this beautiful little red box. And this is what she said. Thanks for your purchase. I used to live in Yarmouth for 50 years, or maybe it says 30, I don't know, but still, that's a lot of years. Happy New Year, Kelly. So thanks, Kelly, from eBay for this great ring, and thank you for it really being sterling, because there's another person on there that sells as sterling, and it's not, so it's very sad. But if um, for those of you that don't know, Yarmouth is right next to Falmouth. It's a town very close to me. And it was just fun to get the ring and have her say, oh, by the way, I live right next to you for a lot of years. So that was cool, really cool. All right, so next, let's see, do I need to tell you about any of the others? I don't think so. Unless you're new, I got this Marcasite ring from an unboxing. And I just told you about the Larimar. This is a Bow B-E-A-U Jewels sterling ring it's a vintage got that at a thrift store this is a carnelian i got that from shop goodwill this i think in an unboxing and this at a thrift store i love this pearl it's so beautiful really love it and it's on sterling and i didn't know that when i bought it so those are the rings i hope you enjoy hearing about those oh and another thing i got I ordered another box of sterling and pearls. Remember the last one I got was such a hit? I ordered another box. I haven't looked at it yet, but I did see this bracelet. And look what it says. Believe God. It's all sterling, has pearls, a toggle clasp. So I put it on, and I'm turning it this way because I'm really in need of a place to find a place to rent. And this is really helping me to keep the faith just to keep the faith so I thought I'd share that too oh and I also was telling you about this bracelet that I found in this 45 pound box I was waiting to find the other heart because there is a heart missing and so far I have not found it in this metallic box that we opened so that's a little bit disappointing I am gonna keep hopeful that maybe it's in one of the other bags probably not but I'll let you know when that's available, but I do want to try to find that other heart first. Okay, so next we have this very gorgeous pair of faux pearl earrings. They're so fancy. Look at how they're prong set like that. They're full of crystals. I don't know who they're from, but look at the pearls. They're very, very rich looking and very um, quality looking. So I thought those were just beautiful. Let me look one time for one more time for a maker and just to show you the back and show you the quality. They're just so pretty. So that's those earrings. I guess you can say they have sort of floral leaves that are coming down the sides of the pearls and they're just all encrusted with beautiful little crystals. So a super awesome pair of earrings. And I'm going to say 18 on these. I just think they're fabulous. They are just well made and fabulous. So that's those. And what's next? What's next? I have this pair of Avon earrings. They are gold tone, kind of a swooshy design. They're pierced. And I put these flatter backs on them. And they're the older Avon. They're pretty good quality and they're a good weight. So we have those pierced earrings. And I'll say $5 on those. Then we have these super duper hoopers. Look at the size of these. Aren't they so cool? They are, let's see, four and a quarter inch hoop earrings. And they close with this, you know, invisible closure that kind of goes in here. I did test them 
They are sterling silver plated. They're not solid sterling, but they're silver plated and they're in great shape. So I would say for those giant hoop earrings, nice and lightweight and certainly cool looking, we'll do $8 on those. The size of those is really fun. And another pair of hoop earrings that is sterling over copper. You don't need backs on these because they have those French lock backs or something. I still don't have that down, but the different names of the backs, but you can see it on the camera, so that's good. So these are much thicker than the others. They're very pretty. They kind of go thinner and then thicker. And these are two and three quarter inch hoops and they are sterling plated over copper. And I would say $4 on those. Okay, next is another sterling over copper. We had a lot of these, but I like the shape of these. They have a little bit of a movement to them, the squiggly line, and they certainly are sterling because they polish up very easily. They're pierced, they're almost hoops, and they are about, they're two inches. So we have these for $4. Okay, I'll try to go back and forth from one thing to another to keep it fun. I am going to make a craft jar, and I'm calling it Gia. And Gia is my stepdaughter's name, and she just had a baby. So I'm very excited and happy for her. She had a baby girl. She lives in Florida, and I'm not sure if she watches my videos, but I hope she will watch this one. So let's start making some deposits because I have quite a bit of stuff from this 45 pound bag that we can start adding to our Gia jar. Okay, let's see here, we've got this bracelet that has lots of beautiful purple and turquoise color stones. It looks like it's on copper but there's a couple missing, so you can craft with that. Then we have bunches of bracelets in there too. A very long, lovely chain with a tassel on it. Um, what was wrong with this? Oh, I see. So it just has a lobster clasp that very simply needs to be rehooked on there. And then you have a long necklace that you can wear anywhere with a beautiful tassel. So I like to put things in here that are an easy fix and that you can enjoy wearing right away too, because that's always fun. Next I have this lovely pair of earrings. I think there was probably a couple of stones missing, but they're a gray crystal inside and a regular color crystal on the outside. Just big hoop earrings. So we'll put those in Gia. What else do we have? A lovely earring. I'm sure you've seen all of this, but I dropped it in the craft bag, so in it goes. Too bad there wasn't two of those. This is the other one to the first one we found that went in another craft jar that was broken. So this is the second one. There's nothing wrong with this one but it doesn't have a mate now, so in it goes. And I have, I really enjoyed the comments that I got from all of you when I asked what I should and should not put in the craft jars. That was such a great read for me. I learned a lot from you all, and I learned that I'm doing pretty good. So I'm gonna put these bangles in there. They have rhinestones on them. This one just has golden nubbies on it. And they're in good shape with the exception of these might have a few missing. So we got to get these in first because then we fill up the rest of it. Now this necklace again just needs a really simple fix but I think it might take up too much of the jar so I'll put that with a different um, like a craft bag. Now, what's this beautiful baby? This is a silver tone necklace. It has moon and stars on it, a beautiful purple crystal, and I thought it just had a little bit of wear. 
So I'm going to put this in the craft jar. Gorgeous crystal. Hope you love that. And this is a cute pair of earrings. Why are you in the craft jar? I think maybe they were just like not metal. They were kind of plasticky. So I'll put those in. Next is this earring. I think there was only one of them. Something like that. We have more bangles, but I don't know how many you want in one jar. Let's see what else I can put in. Okay, Ooh, we've got this cutie. Cute little earring with the acrylic crystal on it. Somehow it was broken. And then we have this pair of silver tone earrings with the silver bead balls on them. But this got broken off. Then we have this beautiful little heart piece with a turquoise colored stone and probably has a stone missing. Yeah, a couple of them up there. Isn't that gorgeous though? It's a little pin. So there's that one. And this is a piece of rhinestones. So we'll put that in. This I liked because it has some pretty colors on it. It looks older. It's a lightweight chain just has some pretty color pieces on it. They are not glass, they are acrylic. And a pair of earrings, I don't know if they're pewter, they just didn't shine up, so I don't know. I'm just gonna put them in here. Oh, that's it. There's like, maybe something was hanging on the edge of them, so I'll let you finish that. And, what other pretties do we have? We have this tassel earring. I love those colors. We have a little ring that is silver tone. It's like a hammered look to it. And I think it's missing the stone. This is a beautiful earring. I guess there was only one. Looks like those might be real pearls. Hard to tell right now, but Let's say they're not, just so I don't disappoint anyone. Okay, this is a beautiful chandelier earring, and look, one missing there. So, that was sad. And here's the other one. Probably nothing missing on this one, but I like to include both, so you'll have a pair when you fix them. This also is a lovely rhinestone, very vintage earring, one missing. And here's the other earring that went to that really cute acrylic stone. And the other one had that top piece missing. So this necklace has a little faux pearl on the bottom. And I don't know who that maker is. The chain is in good shape, so I thought you could use that. And this is a single. This is so beautiful. I really love these clip-ons. They have a pink stone in the middle and they have some acrylic on the leaves. But I'm just not sure if the acrylic was supposed to be on all the leaves. But look how little they are. They just clip right on. Let me see if that says something on the back. It does. It says Austria. So that's an Austria crystal. That's a gorgeous crystal to have to do some crafting with. Let me see if the other one is in here, too. Oh, I hope it's not just the one. But even if it is, you have definitely an Austria crystal to work with. So that's lovely. Then there is... I'm going to try to show you both earrings at once. Where'd the other one go? Well, here's the other earring to the one I put in before. Right? Did I put one in? I think so. Then this is a sterling silver ring, but it broke right here somehow. So I thought I'd put it in here. And um, I hope you'll remember it's sterling. I do like to mark on something sterling so you know. Let me just do this quick. Sterling. And you can read my chicken scratch. I'll try to poke it through. Yeah, okay. So then you will remember that this metal is sterling silver, okay? 
Now, I know there's two of these earrings. They're kind of a little wacky. They're meant to be very wild shaped. But where is the other one? Thought I put it in. Um, I'll leave it out until I find the other. Oh, here it is. Okay, so you have these earrings. They're gold tone. They just had a little bit. I don't know, they just looked a little too warm. So those are going in. And also these, same thing. Nice pair of earrings, but maybe they could be repurposed. And these as well. They're like a rose gold tone, and they are actually roses. But again, these are kind of on a plastic, not a metal. Then I have this 1928 brooch. You can tell by the back, they have that really pretty pattern to their jewelry but the pearl on the front just has a little bit of scratching and it's missing two of the little seed pearls so maybe someone knows how to fix that or they can paint it a different color i don't know but it's a pretty brooch i really hope that's helpful to someone christmas pin that was missing one little rhinestone tie clip i never knew what was stuck to that this is a ring that I think has cubic zirconias, but the metal in it is kind of pitted. It might be like a, a gold, um, what do you call that, when they electroplate it. So the stones are beautiful, the setting is beautiful, but the metal needs some help. This is a single silver tone earring. We have another chain that is, I think, a glasses chain and it is copper it has gold over copper but maybe you can bring it down to the copper or you'll know what you're doing with that next i'm putting in these little christmas stocking earrings pretty cute and oh, we might as well put all these bracelets in here rhinestones and different colors if they're gonna fit i don't know might not fit i'd have to put them over there so that might be all i have for this moment but as we go through the video i will find some more so that's that one but while we are on crafts i do want to show you this beautiful vintage necklace it really looks like a coro to me it's not marked, and I think that's because the hook is missing. So the thrift store, I guess, or someone attached it back here, but it's supposed to have a hook, and the hook is where it's usually marked Coro. So I gave it a really good cleaning, and I will sell this for $5 to whomever wants to buy it that may be able to just, all you have to do is disconnect this and put your hook on this side. So let me know if you want the Coro piece. Pretty sure it is. But it is all cleaned up, and I would say just $5 for that. You can put a hook on it. So that's the craft jar for now. Um, let's see. Let's switch to some pins. This is a cute little hat pin. Gold tone. It's not marked. Everything works great, and the coloring on it is great. I'll say $2 on that. Next, I do have a very vintage rose pin with a faux pearl right there. And it's an oldie. Let's see if it's got a mark right there under the pin. No, I'm not seeing any. But I have learned that this kind of texture is what signer uses. I'm not saying this is a signer in any way because there were a lot of older jewelry makers at the time but it is vintage and it's a rose and it has a faux pearl. So there you go on that one and I'll say $6 on that. This necklace was tangled for so long. Remember how long it took me to get that out of that tangle? It says sink or swim. It does appear to be all in brass. There's a sweet little sand starfish in there and some very pretty sand. It's nice and clean. It's on a long chain that also looks brass tone with a lobster clasp. So I'm not sure if anyone's interested in this, but if you are, 
it is 24 inches plus another three or four inches. And there you go. I would say um, we'll do $8 for the sink or swim necklace. Next is a tiny little butterfly pin. It's made of enamel. It has yellow, orange, and a light blue color. That's very sweet. It actually has the entire pin mechanism, which works great. And I will say $4 on that little guy. Now, returning to some earrings, we have some gold tone hoops. They have some texture to them right here. And then they get flat again where they go through the ears. And it's another pair of these that hide inside, you know. So they are gold tone with a little texture. Pretty nice looking, very good condition. They are about not quite two inches, and I'll say $3 on those. I'm trying not to say $1 on things because the fees on PayPal and just the cost of processing something, a um, dollar just doesn't do it. So I'm trying to just bring it up a little bit. So then I found these seahorse earrings. These are quite substantial, pretty thick, and they're very detailed too. They are pierced earrings. I don't think there's a mark anywhere. But they're cute. If you love seahorses, they are really pretty. And I'll say six on those, six dollars. Then we have these really beautiful Liz Claiborne vintage earrings. Look at the color of that stone. Is that so, oh, it's just gorgeous. It's like a teal and a green and a blue faceted glass. And don't you love these backs that you just clip in and out of. So that's the Liz Claiborne. I think these are super nice. And these are 16. So 16 for the Liz Claiborne. And of course they are signed on the back. Next are these little tiny silver tone leaves. They're very lightweight. They're in good condition, very bright silver tone. And I was going to say a dollar on those, but I'll say two dollars. These are looking very pretty. Pierced earrings. Now these have a really wide hook on them. Not wide, but thicker hook than you would expect. They were a little bit bent. They bend very easily, which tells me that they may be precious metal, but they don't test as precious metal. So not sure what metal would be flexible like that, but they don't test as gold or silver. They are a dangle earring, black glass, halo rhinestones, rhinestones up here, and rhinestones all around here, and then a big faceted, I think acrylic on the bottom. Let me just get Miss Prissy and see what she says. Yes, so the one on the bottom is acrylic, but all the rest are glass, and they're just beautiful. Really pretty earrings. And I'll say $5 on those. And I like to keep them in the bag when there's that many um, rhinestones. Also, they're open in the back, you know, where the stones are to let the light through. So, I don't know. I would think those would have tested as something, but they didn't. They just did a good job making them. So that's those. Then we have a beautiful pair of gold hoops. These are nice quality. If I find hoops that are not good quality, I'll put them right in the craft jar or something else. But these are nice. I can't believe they're not signed Monet somewhere because they really look at... But they are almost one inch. Beautiful, clean. You don't need any backs because they snap right in place. So I like these. I thought they were really worth the resell. And I'll say five on these. Okay, let's get some more of these earrings out of the way so we can get to some of the things on my tray. These are the earrings that I showed you my little experiment with that pen. 
that metallic pen. And they're not bad. I don't I don't mind how they came out on the back, but I'm just reminding you that's how they look on the back. But I can't get over how beautiful they are. I still think they're worth it. They're just gorgeous. Imagine those on. That is a fancy, fancy look. So I am going to still offer these. They are textured. They're pretty thick. And they're old. So I'm going to say $6 on these. Just because of that little thing on the back I had to fix. But Now these are so interesting. They are butterfly earrings or maybe a moth. I'm not sure. They have real gemstones. So these little tiny gemstones that you see, the purple ones test amethyst, the yellow ones test citrine. Come on, phony phone. Um, there's lots of colors in there. Wish I could get it closer. Now I'm gonna make you crazy with my, with my, there you go. Oh, I did it. So you see all those different color stones? They're real gemstones. So I don't know what to make of these. They're really beautiful earrings, but they don't test as gold. The back is all open, I have to show you, to let the light show through where all those stones are. Come on camera, there we go. See how they're all open? So very interesting, again, not marked, don't test as gold have the gold posts and they're real gemstones. So all I can do is say maybe 14 because they have all those gemstones in them and they're beautiful. So let me know if you like those. Okay, next is a pair of Trafari earrings. And I did look these up and there is a Trafari earring exactly like this. So I do believe these are Trafari, and again, they're little butterflies. Gold tone, and that's the backs. And I'll say six for the little Trafaris. I don't want you to get bored with earrings, so I'll switch to some necklaces in a minute, but I have to show these sterling earrings. You probably saw them at some point, but we found the mate and I've done my work and looking at them and all those good things. So we had a few things in this box that was very kinetic and very exciting in the designer. Oh, I can't wait to show you a ring that I have. Okay, so these are all sterling silver. And when you hang them from your ears, they make this very cool design. It's like a circle, a circle, and like this little hook coming around. They're pretty substantial. They weigh a good amount. So I'm very happy with these. And this part also is nice and thick. They're just a very good quality sterling silver earring. Kinetic. Vintage, I believe. Hope I have enough light tonight. Um, so these are 45. I did look up Kinetic sterling earrings and they're a very popular thing they're not always made anymore by people so they're probably artisan made at one point i can't be sure i just know they're nice and thick sterling and they're really cool and there is another pair similar to those right here just such a cool look artisan made again sterling and when they hang, they just kind of fall like a, almost like one of those ding, ding, time for dinner. But I love that. They're movable and, you know, just kind of cool. So these are also solid sterling. I thought, I, yes, I saw the little back right here. So for these, I will say 20 really cute. All right, I don't want to bore you with earrings, so I'm going to move next to this beautiful brooch. I don't know what to make of this. I'm trying to learn about, whoops, about rhodium plating and how to tell if something's rhodium plated. All I can say is it's a beautiful pin. 
this is the the catch I guess you'd call it right here and maybe some of you that know about the catches will know what kind of what year this is made so that works great the pin goes to the side and that's the other part of it it's super clean the glass inside looks like crystal it does give that rainbow sparkle it's very art deco I mean can you see the colors it's absolutely stunning it's not sterling silver that I can tell I think it's also magnetic but not everything is always sterling and not everything that's wonderful has to be so this is an art deco brooch I believe the glass is so cool and let's see I always like to put these on a piece of paper so that they stay nice and I keep them in another little protective covering. So I'm going to call it the Art Deco brooch um, with the crystal center and I'm going to say 45 on this. Stunning. Next is a sterling. This is what it says on the back exactly. Sterling in all caps, asterisk 0925 in Mexico. It says it right there on the back. And these are getting much harder to find. The sterling silver Mexico pieces are getting hard to find, and their values are going up, which is kind of fun for some of us. But this is an abalone inlay butterfly brooch. And that's the back. I do believe that it, that is the original soldering because it's also that color up here. I don't think it's a repair. I think it's just the way that it colored. So solid sterling and abalone. Beautiful, very vintage brooch. And I'll say 36 on this, okay? And that's that one. Next, what do I have? A chain? Oh, this chain is cool. It has like that little hook on it but I kind of wanted to put something on it um, this is interesting this is a sterling silver brooch this did not come in this box this was about to be put with a with a set of jewelry on those nights that I make the matching jewelry bags and I noticed it said something on the back so I cleaned it up and sure enough it says sterling right there so that was very exciting. It's a sterling silver brooch. And now I believe this is rhodium plated because it's kept its shininess. I did test it. It's definitely sterling and it's loaded with these beautiful rhinestones. So I thought I would show that to you and offer you that beautiful bow. It does need a little cleaning, but I'm kind of, you know, I don't want to clean it too much. So I will say 35 on the sterling silver bow tie or bow brooch. And that was fun too. Okay, let's see. I haven't looked at these necklaces since I hung them up here, so we're just going to go for it. This looks like either that, I don't want to say it wrong, but there's a puau shell that's like abalone, but it's much more colorful. It looks like that, but I can't be sure. Sometimes they can fake those kind of shells. Yeah, I don't know. I just know it's pretty. It has an anchor design. Um, let's see if the chain is... The chain is not marked, so... I think it's just a very good-looking necklace with what looks like a shell. It measures... 18 inches plus another two on the extension. And I'll say $4 for that little pretty babe. What else do I have hung up here? Let's see, this one has a tag on it, so that should be exciting. What are you saying? This has all kinds of stuff on it. Oh no, it's stuck on another one, okay. All right, we'll have to get this one down first. Okay, um, this looks like an anklet. It has a little rhinestone something or other. Very pretty. 
And, oh, it could be a bracelet, too. Let's see, where's my bracelet, baby? There we go. So this measures eight and a half, and you can see that you can still make it bigger or smaller. And I'll say just $2 on that. It's pretty, it's in good shape. Don't know who that would be, but there you go. We'll just say two. Then we have dun, da, 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 another necklace with some tags on it. So I must have been serious about this one. Oh, I see. This is the gold over sterling necklace that I found in the detangling, untangling video. It's marked 925. I did test it. So it's gold over sterling. And it says 925 on the little teardrop as well. So that's the necklace that is for May. And it measures um, 17 inches on the chain. And there's your mark. And I'm going to price these separately just in case you don't want both pieces. But I have some earrings that almost match. So for the gold vermeil necklace with the teardrop or whatever you'd call that, I will say 16 on that. And then we have these very lovely earrings that have sort of the same shape. They say 925 on them as well. They're covered with gold. And I'll put some little backs right there for you. These are pretty heavy. So you're getting, you know, a good amount of weight of sterling with these. Plus they're really pretty. So I will say 20 on these. And then you can decide if you wanted to buy this with the matching earrings. You can buy either or. So that you're not... Um, having to commit to both. So that's that one. Next, we have a big note on this. Oh my. Oh, maybe I just had it. Okay, I had it hanging like this because I didn't want it to tangle. So this is an amazing piece of Labradorite. Labradorite. The flash Oh my gosh, I don't think I have to say anything, right? It is stunning. It's just beautiful. So that's that piece. The necklace is all sterling, I believe. Nope, it's 120th 14 karat gold filled. And it says that on the lobster claw clasp. So you have gold filled, and then they take the chain, and one of them is darker than the other, but they are gold filled nonetheless. And they have this beautiful pendant with an incredible stone on it. So let me measure that. It is 18 inches with another two inches extender. And you have a gold filled Labradorite beautiful necklace. And I'll say 35 on that. The stone is kind of thick, too. I'm trying to hold it up to the camera in a different way, but it's a good size stone. It's faceted and so beautiful. So I think whoever wears that will get a lot of compliments. And let's see, can I fit it in this bag? Maybe. Now, I don't even remember if I just set a price on it. <laughs> Oh my, um, if I didn't, I'll have to tell you an email because I don't want to say a different price because I just totally forgot if I said a price. Okay, next is oh, a 925. So we have a snake chain and I love these older ones because they're just, I don't know, I love the way they're made. They hold on forever. It says 925 there, there, and there. And it is a snake chain. Looks like kind of a shorter one, but it's still 16 inches. And you can always wear an extender if you need to. But that's a nice sterling chain. Does need a little polishing. And I'll say $16 on that. 
and I'm going to write 16 on that. And it's from the maker SU. Okay. Ooh, we're rolling right along. Okay, let's see what this is. I don't want to price things and spend time on things that aren't important, but sometimes I never know what someone's going to like. They may like something that someone else might think is not worth the time, but you'd be surprised how many things sell and how many things people like. So I hope you'll bear with me if I'm showing something that you don't think is, you know, special or substantial because pretty much someone else will. They really will. Okay, this looks like a very long, old tone leaf design chain. I don't think this one had a clasp from what I can remember. I just think it's very long and very delicate and very pretty and the gold on it is in great shape. It's not worn. It looks really good. Yeah, I don't see a clasp on it so it would be an over the head piece and wow, I'm going to have to measure this in like 20 increments, so that's 40, and that's 50, 62 inches on this lovely piece. So it's one of those that you can wear a couple of times around, but remember you don't have a clasp, so you can't wear it too many times around. And I think it's just a lovely vintage necklace, I'll say $8 on that. And I wish I had a little bag for it. Oh, I do right here. I finally broke down and bought these bags. They're really tough on my fingers to open, but they really help with the jewelry. So that's that. What else is on our, what should I call this necklace hanger thing? I need to give it a name. I don't know, it's not the best thing in the world. Maybe I don't wanna name it and give it a personality because it's not my favorite, but it does help. So this is the cute necklace that everybody raved about with the doggy footprint. And it's a sterling silver chain and a sterling silver little doggy footy. So cute. It says 925, it tests as 925, and it's all marked right there. The chain is lovely and delicate. It's not one of those that would bother your neck. So I like that. I'm going to measure it where first it hooks on this part, and then I'll tell you what the uh, extension is. So it measures 16 inches on that first closure, and then you've got another, so 16 to 19 inches on the doggy paw, and I'll say 24 on this. So that's so cute. Next up, we have a West Germany. Ooh. Okay, so this West Germany jewelry is really lightweight. It sells great, I think, because it's collectible. And I think, too, because it's just, it wears beautifully. I usually put these on eBay, but I'm going to offer it to you guys. Why not? You're, you're more special than my eBay people. So this one is 18 inches, and look at the shine on it. So a West Germany chain, and I'll say 45 on this, okay? So there you go with your West Germany. Next up is, oh, this is pretty. This took me a little bit to untangle, but this is a Chico's. The weight on it is beautiful. The finish is beautiful. And I should get Buster out. I haven't got Buster out. But that's how it looks on the neck. There's your Chico's tab. A lovely lobster claw. And look at the, the finish. It's beautiful. So it has these three chains coming down. And then all these ovals. Beautiful. And I'll say $8 on the Chico's. Let's see how much time we have. Maybe I should sign off soon. Um, 
This is that really special chain that's really old and has these very just soft, delicate loops. I think I'm going to wait on that one because it's going to call for a very beautiful certain a certain pendant that I'll know in the future when I see it. This is um, gold filled, 14 karat gold filled on the clasp. It's a lovely necklace and it's made of little seed pearls. I thought at first they were little glass, um, like little glass beads, but they're not, they're pearls. They're actual teeny tiny seed pearls. And then at the bottom, it has a sterling silver cross marked 925 with a gold covering. So let me just double check that because the, the chain is gold filled, 14 karat gold filled. And yes, the cross does say 925. So it's gold over sterling on the cross. So someone must have put that there at some time. But Okay, this measures 16 inches. Again, you have real seed pearls. I think these are quite special. I think they're not very usual to find. So I'm going to price this at 35. And if that's too much, you'll let me know. When I get the prices right, the pieces go right away. And when I don't, then I come back again and you let me know what you think. Gold filled, vermeil, and seed pearls. Really, really pretty. Okay, a couple more necklaces. Let's see what this one is. This is the musical note I was excited about during the detangling. And it is a very nice, great quality, beautiful piece. I was a little disappointed it wasn't sterling because I have been involved in music. But I'm not sure about the end of it. Doesn't that look like a puzzle piece? So maybe this means something else, I don't know. But nonetheless, it is a silver tone, very nice condition, 20 inch chain with another three, four inches, so 20 to 24 inches, but some kind of musical note, and I'll say $4 on that. Now I should probably finish the craft jar and sign off because I don't want to take up too much time and have a super long video. But before I do, what does this one say? Um, this one says Lauren. Yeah, I was going to give it to someone, but I didn't. If someone wants a necklace that says Lauren, gold tone, but excellent condition again. This is the type of chain. Um... It is 20 inches with another couple of inch extender. The name is Lauren, and I'll say $4 on that. Now I'm going to go grab some more craft stuff for our craft jar. And oh, I have so much to show you. I wanted to get to the rings, but we'll do it. Hi, everyone. I thought I'd show you Tom because Bolty's always hogging all the attention. But this is Tom, his brother. Isn't he cute? He's a real sweetie. Let's say hi, Tom. All they want to do is eat. I just got home and they just want food. So I better go feed them. Okay, thanks. Bye. Hi, everyone. Just a reminder of how to purchase the jewelry. Please give me an email at capecodebaygirl at gmail.com. And I really need these four pieces of information. So if you want to take a screenshot or write them down or pause your video, whatever is helpful to you. I need the video name and episode number the timestamps of when your pieces show, and you can get that by pausing the video. A brief description of the pieces that you love and the price is given, okay? So thank you very much for that. Appreciate it very much. So I brought Miss Prissy over to say hi to you. I'm not crazy. I don't really think she's real. I'm just, this is just something fun that we do. Because I have this necklace that is vermeil. It's marked 925, it does test sterling, has gold over, and it's a double hanging chain. So it comes down right about here, and then the second part hangs from there. Come on, little dude. 
this sometimes wraps around here we go so I'll separate that from there so you can see what I mean about the necklace and then my little tag falls but you see what I mean so we have this double hang necklace probably need to just I don't know twist this around or something this piece right here I'm gonna test it has what I think <laughs> hang with me what I think are rhinestones here but they're way too tiny to test but I'm gonna test this little stone in the middle and see what happens Now this is so wild because it just went all the way up to diamond and now it's not. I wonder why that happens sometimes. Let me try testing the back part of it. It also doesn't matter if you hold the stone in your hands because it's not testing the temperature, it's testing the hardness of the stone. All right, I guess it is a cubic zirconia or a very sparkly piece of glass but just a minute ago it went all the way to diamond so I don't know I don't know why it did that let me see if I can get one of these little guys see what I'm saying so that went all the way to diamond on one of these and it didn't beep so what am I to think of it now it's going to that Oh boy, I just don't know. I guess I'm just gonna have to say that it's a nice crystally necklace. And maybe those are little, look at that, it goes to diamond on the little ones here and it went to diamond on this one too at one point. I don't know what to make of it, what do you think? Maybe I should just offer it for like 45? I do think those little guys are diamond. Don't know about this one. I guess you could take it to your jeweler, but it is for May and it measures 14 where the first drop is and 16 where the second drop is. So let's just say 45 for the diamond chip necklace and somehow we've got to find out what that is. So we shall see. But I did that just now off camera really quick and just thought I'd show you. Okay, so that one I'm gonna put away, put Miss Prissy to the side. And let's see what else I can put in the craft jar so we can finish it up. Alrighty. Um, these I believe are glass stones just kind of I don't know what someone did they have a copper chain and a silver clasp you know so it's different colored glass I believe I don't think it's stone let's see. while we've got her here we might as well check yeah they test as glass but nonetheless they're very pretty then I have an ID bracelet with the name Gary there's not a thing wrong with it it's called nickel silver I think it's by Elko. It's a vintage nickel silver bracelet. So maybe you have a Gary in your life, I hope. And we have some beautiful bits and bobs, vintage earrings and such, some faux pearls, some pieces of shiny glass, and a vintage red earring. That was a cute pair. But I think one of them just had like a little boop on the tip of it. So if you could get that out, you'd have a pair. These are, I guess, some kind of earrings. And this is pretty. It's got a lot of rhinestones. Probably only one. This has a lovely piece of howlite. Here's the other red earring. What's wrong with this one? Oh, I don't know really not much wrong with those 
Hmm. Maybe I just felt like, I don't know, there was too much glue or something? I don't know. I trust myself with that. So, and here is a pair of silver tone hoops with a bead ball on them. This looks like some pretty blue glass and some rope style earrings. These are cute little gold bananas. <laughs> they really are gold bananas. And then another very beautiful pearl, full pearl, I'm sure. Let's see what else. This looks like that other blue earring. Not sure what was wrong with them. Maybe one of them was missing. Blue glass. And it looks like we have some silver tone earrings with some yellow glass on the top. Oh, and here's the other purple one. So that's cool. And here's the other um, how light. So that's those. What else can I give? These are beautiful glass. Oh, I love these earrings. They have rhinestones at the top, but something about the tops of them are worn. So maybe the wire's at the top, but isn't that gorgeous? Just a beautiful light purple color. I hope you love those. This is some kind of a raw crystal on a ribbon. And I'll put that in there. It's always fun to have raw crystal stones. And what else? Something else that can fit in the top. Um, this is so pretty. I don't know why it's in here. Let me see what I wrote. This is an Avon necklace. Maybe it just had a little too much wear, but it's so pretty, isn't it? So in goes the Avon. I think that might be it for our craft jar Gia. I don't think I could fit anything else in there. If I could, I would. If I could, I woulda. There is one more chain. Nice looking silver tone chain with a broken lobster claw. So people like to use the bits of chain to make earrings. So very happy to fit that in there too. And why not? One more bracelet, some pink beads and things. So that is our Gia jar. Let's stick these back in here quickly. And we'll talk about those pieces next time. And I'll keep saving the goodies to put in the craft jars for all of you. I haven't stopped once to say how to purchase the jewelry. Well, maybe I'll make some little video snippets and I'll stick them in between on the video, I hope. However, this is our Gia craft jar. I'll put some bubble wrap on the top and then tape it so the tape doesn't get on your jewelry. And this will be for 25. And I'm also gonna put 45 pounds on this because Sometimes I need to know which video it went with, so that is Gia for 25. Let me know if you want the craft jar, and I'll be happy to send it to you. Okay, so I guess it's time for me to go make my thumbnail. There's so much more to show you. really don't want to go, but I have to, so I'll get busy trying to make a nice picture. And then we'll come back again and do some more pricing of all the stuff that was in the Tango video, okay? So thank you all so much for joining me. I'm really glad you're here. I love all your comments. Please leave me one. Let me know what your favorite thing was, what you thought of some of the pieces, anything you'd like to share. I'd be happy to talk with you. So, All right, so thanks so much. And you know what I'm going to say. We'll see you next time at the bobbles. Bye. Hey guys, before I go, hit the like button and subscribe, okay? If you like the channel, if you like the video, hit the like button on your way out. I appreciate it. And send me a comment so I can say hi back to you. Thanks. Bye.